How the Queen Bee Chooses Her Successor The Queen Bee does not directly choose her successor, instead, the process is collectively managed by the worker bees in the colony. When the Queen becomes old, sick, or less capable of laying eggs effectively, the worker bees initiate a process called supersedure to replace her. The workers select several young larvae from fertilized eggs laid by the existing queen. These larvae are fed exclusively with royal jelly, a nutrient-rich substance that stimulates the development of reproductive organs, turning them into potential queens. After a few days, the larvae mature into pupae, and eventually, new queens emerge. Typically, only one queen survives, as the first queen to hatch will eliminate her rivals to secure her position. This process is crucial for the colony's survival. It is not based on individual decisions but is a biological and collective mechanism ensuring the sustainability of the bee ecosystem.